Yo, if really him called rarely him and um Come on. Members, leaving their shit out after a workout. Put your shit away. It's easy. Fuck. That's my shit. It's also my garage. But I put I left that out and I felt pretty bad about it. So in a world they either think it's their fucking house, which in this case it is, but if you're thinking that it isn't your house. You're gonna drive people nuts. Like, if someone had to come in and pick that up after me, that'd make me a piece of shit. So pick up your shit, unless it's your fucking house. <sighs> Zach, when they see no rep and count it as a rep, especially when you're competing, there are very, very few instances where this is okay. But in a competition, it is never okay to let things slide you always err on the side of it's a no rep because everyone else is doing the same thing or at least they should be and it's all about standardizing it across every single person on the floor if you give one person an inch everyone else might get a mile <laughs> meme for time made a whole ass video it's essentially just a whole bunch of stuff that isn't put away the way they had gotten it boxes crossover symmetries a 10 pound blade on the wrong spot like People, it's not that hard. This is like that movie Idiocracy, where the guy's in the corner, he's trying to put the triangle through the square. He's like, what the fuck, even, that should fit. The triangle should fit in the square, but people are so stupid. They don't even know what they're doing. Put the bar in the wrong spot. These ones are short, those are long, fuck it. William Thibodeau, strength plus Metcon in one class. This one even has a response to it. What does it say? Fuck. I don't know what it says, but I have done this because to an extent, you gotta give the people what they want. You gotta give the people what they want. And when it comes to lifting and doing conditioning, if you only did one or the other, I know it isn't common CrossFit, but you play to your community. If your community of people expects one or the other, give them one or the other. More on that last one from William. I think I covered it good enough. Strength and Metcon in one class. I've always liked to do a strength movement where you can teach it a little bit, say you're doing a heavy clean and jerk, and then you'll use that movement as part of the conditioning. You can try to like beat the movement patterns into their head a little bit, so you're getting a little bit of both. And I understand maybe you're learning how to do some gymnastics. There's a lot of value in that as well. So there are a fuckload of affiliates out there who probably don't do enough of just one thing. Now you're racing your workout on the whiteboard after you're done. Every gym has a different way to do this. Mine, like many, have little whiteboards that you pass out. And everyone likes to write everything down on there. Sometimes it's not a mistake, you just put it away, but it's again a top down deal. When taking the whiteboard, you should be informed that you've got to clean that thing off. And you can't hold it against any single one person if it isn't a rule implemented by the owner, the head coach, or the coach is at that point. People close their eyes when they think they're making a really valid point. <sighs> Does my fucking head in? People who eat healthy and smelly cunts, who don't wash out their gym kit, just everything anyone does. Well, then, sounds like you just don't like people. That ain't fair. However, people don't wash their stuff, that's no good. The people who wear a shirt in, they're like, oh, I wore this yesterday, so I'm gonna wear it to the gym in the morning. And that isn't cool. That's fucking gross, dude. It pulls up. John, don't you know my uh, shitty gym music? You know what, you can't please everybody. I'd like to know, John, what you think is not shitty. And then I would play that for you one day. And then the next day, you might not like what the music is, but not everybody likes everything. And I've been known to play Disney music because some people dig it. Some people dig the Backstreet Boys. Some people like rock from the 90s to the thousands. But you give a little, you get a little. Publius made Edwardson's whiny voice, clickbait thumbnails, and plagiarized content. Two out of the three of those drive me fucking nuts. One, not so much as the other. They're being clickbait because you gotta get people into your videos, and I get it. But 
have some substance once they're there, dude. Two, plagiarize content. Fuck you twice. Three, his whiny voice, don't be a dick. He can't help it, he's just trying to make a living. I don't think it's cool to make fun of his whiny voice. Let's take this one a notch higher. Do it! Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday is said tomorrow, so just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it! Nothing is impossible! <sighs> Unintentionally, save the best for last. 80 on that cadence. Trish, at Trish Glassman. Monkey butt from that bad sit-ups. Whipping myself from double unders. But you like it. And the constant DMs from Rosa. Fuck. Trish, I need from you. Uh, comparative, what do I look like? Who am I? I know that so if I got the gas station clerk, I want one too. That's the end of them, 24 of them. I am going to plug in the heart rate. I'm gonna chop this up to make it watchable. I'll probably turn it into a part two and a part three. Taylor Cell, training program. Thanks for the hat. Hope the audio ends up turning out pretty good. I'll probably stay on this to see how quick my heart rate will drop. I usually like doing that. If you don't, follow me on Twitter. If you don't subscribe, you can do that if you want. I thought I remembered you saying that you wanted to express yourself. I'm breathing hard. You gotta dump that shit! You gotta dump that shit! I don't have to breathe hard. Goose Fraba. Goose Fraba. Something that I was really big on, you know, when I was washed up as fuck was don't let people know it hurts, because you can control that. It's almost something I picked up from wrestling. You stand there, they're on the floor, they're panting, they're dying, and it sparks a fire in you to kick their ass. And you know what? I may have never been to the mountain as far as CrossFit went, but I tried to max out whatever I could do. And I think that one of the things that I had working for me was a little bit of something I built up from wrestling. If you and someone else were in an alley, who's gonna work harder to get out? And if you're gonna be fighting each other, it's one of those things where you don't wanna let them know that you're a little bitch. So, next time you wanna lay down on the floor, ask yourself if you really need to, because some people do need to. You run up the hill at the CrossFit Games, you got thousands of dollars on the line, maybe sponsors, wall ball, thousand miles an hour, your legs feel like they're gonna rip themselves out, then maybe you need to lie down. Every average training day, yeah, you may have worked really hard. That right there, 281 calories, not crazy hard, but you can see, just change your mind. 131, 130, the way you act, the way you feel, and the way you feel is how you look to others, and you want that competitive edge, don't you? Take it all. That was easy. No problem. And Riller, out.